What's good with y'all, man? You watching AGTV, and on this episode, we're reacting to Roger Wild, Ghost Feet Real, and I feel happy about this one. Y'all excited about this one? A lot, <clears throat> a lot of y'all asked for this. A lot of y'all wanted to see this. Got another Roger Wild banger, another Roger Wild classic, another Roger Wild blood sacrifice. We have another Roger Wild blood sacrifice, bro. We have another Roger Wild ritual. I don't even call his song songs no more. You feel me? This man puts out rituals for a living. So other than that, I ain't really got so much to say, man. Let's just get into it. <clears throat> So I still move militant. Who was the militant? I feel the rock, but I never feel the brilliant. I feel the leaders, I never feel the millions. Do this for the love, but never do it for the millions. When I see that, you do it for the love, you never do it for the millions. Roger, the way I feel like the way your career has been going, as far as like your image, you know, you you, you didn't change and did start doing the real dark stuff, and you've been doing it consistently. You know what I'm saying? This is really like your image and all. You really come into this like even in this video, it's a dark, eerie video. You got on a red mask, can't even see your eyes, damn near. You know what I'm saying? They say you do this for the love, you don't do it for the millions. I'm not gonna say that that's a lie. At all, you feel me? But I definitely do believe the money has a part to play in, like, a lot of this shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Not to say you do it specifically for that reason. You could be making money outside of music. But at the same time, like, as consistent as you are and the image that you put out at this point, I feel like money has a little bit something to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Just how I personally feel. This is my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? I like what he said right there, though. He said, I, I don't see nobody else. I only see me. Hold on. I can't see nobody else. Only me. When you climb, trying to climb to the top, when you're trying to make it somewhere in your life, when you're trying to change your situation, you're trying to change your current circumstances and stuff like that and change your family life and your life as well, you can't be looking around at all the outside people. You can't pay attention to all the outside noise. You got to pay attention to you and only you. You got to pay attention to your next step and your uh, next best foot forward to becoming somebody. You can't be focused on what the next, what the next person got, what this person doing, what that person doing. This person over here talking shit about behind your back, so you want to go entertain that. It's going to be motherfuckers over here trying to knock you off your pivot. This person over here say you need to stop doing what you're doing. This person over here say... You ain't making no progress. You seeing all these people making all this money on Instagram. If you paying attention to all these different things, and you paying attention to everybody else's opinion, more importantly than your own, then it's gonna get to a point where you're gonna fall off. You're gonna get to a point where you're not focusing on what you need to focus on no more. You're gonna start basically becoming a shell of yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I like what he said right there. Like Roger Wild, I be talking, I be joking a lot when it come to him, but at the same time, he definitely got certain lyrics that I be relating to, though, on some real shit, though. I think he said, if I fuck up, don't leave me. It ain't my fault that I roll like this. I'm a fuck, I'm a I don't know if he said, it ain't my fault that I roll like this, but <clears throat> if that's what he said, that is a lie. All right. I don't know if that's what he said, but listen, whatever you end up doing in your life, bruh, 
as long as you're not like a baby or a kid that really don't got no say so yet or something like that as a grown person as somebody with um life experience at least in a sense you are responsible for the things that happen in your life you are responsible for your certain circumstances yes there are people that play parts in our lives but at the same time you decide to keep them in your life to even put you on the wrong path in the first place you know what i'm saying like you really control your life and once you start taking it into accountability your real responsibility and your real like what's the word i'm trying like if you really start taking responsibility for your actions in your life I feel like a lot of things would be better, you know what I'm saying? But I don't even know if that's really what he said, but it just made me want to say that, though. He said, my mama say she don't like that I go like this. He said, I don't know. He said, basically, he said his mama don't like the life that he living, but the circumstances that made him do it. And there's so many people who could relate to that type of shit, because... You don't be wanting to do the wrong that you be doing, but sometimes it be like, damn, I like, damn near gotta, do it. damn near gotta do it. Like I ain't gotta do it, but I, you know what I'm saying? You know how it is. Like I damn near really gotta do it though. Like, I just peep what he said. He said he don't need the perks. The perks need him. Again, Roger, this is delusion at its finest. You need the perks. How the fuck could a perk need a human being? A perk doesn't have a mind. A perk doesn't have anything like that. Now, I understand there's a little play on words. You didn't mean it literally, but still, Roger, you, it's, it's kids listening to you right now. And they gonna be thinking like, shit, he right. Like, if you technically think about it, the perks really need the human because without the human, the perks wouldn't be a perk. The perk would have no purpose without me and, and, and taking it. So therefore, the perk need me. Like, people, it's, it, people are crazy out here, bro. Kids are very manipulative. Not manipulative, very manipulatable, if that's a word. They're easily manipulated. And some people out here is grown and crazy, and they will believe that shit a thousand percent. For real. I just noticed something. Did I see Roger Wild face? No, I did. I seen like the top part of it. I'm about to say, I ain't even see his face the whole video, but he did show like a little part of it. Like, Oh, he ain't gonna let me get no verse. He ain't gonna let me, bro. I tried to get all the verse. He not letting me, bro. He was stingy with the beat on this one. He ain't let me get no verse, bro. But yeah, uh, this Roger Wild goes to be real. I, I honestly like the song though. You know what I'm saying? Besides some of the little parts in there, I'm like, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like people is gonna believe that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like certain little parts. But other than that, though, I really like the song though. Other than that, I ain't really got too much to say though. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I'm react to next. I'm out.